Hello folks. We had a lightning storm the other night and I thought I'd show it to you in regular motion and then right afterwards a slow motion clip. You know, lightning is a giant discharge of electricity. It's accompanied by a brilliant flash of light and a loud crack of thunder. The spark can actually reach over 5 miles in length and raise the temperature of the air by as much as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And it contains 100 million electrical volts. Did you know that rubber shoes do nothing to protect you from lightning? And that talking on the telephone is actually the leading cause of lightning injuries inside the house? Of course, the odds of becoming a lightning victim in the United States in any one year is 1 in 700,000. The odds of you being struck in your lifetime is 1 in 3,000. And did you know that standing under a tall tree is one of the most dangerous places to take shelter? And lightning can also kill people. There was 3,696 deaths between 1959 and 2003. Only about 10% of the people are killed, but 70% suffer serious long-term effects. About 400 people survive lightning strokes in the United States each year. Now, lightning is not confined to thunderstorms either. It's actually been seen in volcanic eruptions, extremely intense forest fires, surface nuclear detonations, heavy snowstorms, and even in large hurricanes. Well, the theory is ice in the cloud is the key in the development of lightning. You see ice particles collide as they swirl around in the storm and that causes the separation of electrical charges. The positive charged ice crystals rise to the top of the thunderstorm and negative charged crystals drop to the lower parts of the storm and of course fall to the ground. Did you know that lightning that hits the ground actually starts at the ground? You see, Earth is negative, and that's a starting point for electrons that always travel from negative to positive. Most lightning usually goes from negative to positive charges in the sky, however. And those bolts that actually look like they're coming down and hitting the ground are actually traveling diagonally to the line of sight, making the illusion look like it's hitting the ground when it's actually not. You know, folks, I don't believe that crazy Benny story about the key and the kite. Are you kidding me? The only thing he probably would have discovered if he did that was a new way to tell God how he died by frying. <laughs>